it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, so today I'm going to make more stickers. So like a month ago, I made a lot of stickers and you guys liked it a lot. Today, I'm going to show you all these different ways to make stickers from like a dollar all the way up to $500. Some of them are going to be inspired by TikTok videos. I got a new thermal printer because of TikTok. And yeah, there are just so many stickers that I want to make. I just love making stickers and I've been literally using my Cricut machine every single day. So let's just jump right in. Making some TikTok inspired stickers. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start making stickers. I wanna make some window stickers. It's actually my first time doing this, so hopefully it works out. So first off, you need to print out some images. Yes, BT21. I printed out two images. So here are some things that you need. You need some clear folders, which I'm sure you guys have at home, and some glass paint. Okay, I bought them at my local craft store, but you can buy these at dollar stores. And if you can't find it at the dollar store, they're still about like two to three dollars, so it's not really that bad. And um, I haven't had food yet today, so I'm kind of hungry. Don't mind me, even if you hear my stomach grumbling. Okay, so I'm just going to put the paper inside the folders, and I'm going to trace it using some black glass paint. Oh wait, it's not open. <laughs> and here we go. Like I said, I've never done this before, and it is a little bit hard to make steady lines. You need to have some like really good control. This is a trick that has been around for centuries. Well, maybe not centuries, but for years. And I've been wanting to try this method out so bad. When I was younger, almost all my friends had these stickers up on their windows whenever I would go visit their house. And I was always like, dang, I love it. How do they make it? I was too shy to ask. But I feel like this trick is a little challenging for younger children because, I mean, this could happen. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, it's still fixable. <gasps> oh my gosh. Really? I'm going to start over. Okay, here we go again. A little tip is to wipe the nozzle every few seconds to make clean lines. I also notice at the very end that the thicker the lines, the sturdier the sticker. So I think I kind of made the sticker overall too sheer and thin, and if I were to do this again, I would definitely try to make the lines thicker. And you have to be careful, you need to outline every single part where the color changes. And I'm done with the outline. Let me fix it up real quick. And I'm just going to put it aside for it to dry. Okay, so let's get started with this second drawing. By the way, if you don't know who these characters are, they are called BT21. They are made by BTS, the most popular and talented singing group ever. And this is like the baby version, so they have these like really cute little pink cheeks. I actually decided not to add those cute cheeks, despite I loved them so much. It was a little bit too complicated for my first try, and I couldn't find the right color. I'm going to talk more about it later, but there weren't that many color choices, and I had to work with what I had. So this process took me about like an hour. I mean, I kept messing up and restarting and stuff, so I guess it took me a little bit more than it should've, but yeah, this is a fairly long project. And I'm just going to put it aside for a few hours for it to dry. Okay, while we're waiting for it to dry, let's move on to the next project. Oh, by the way, don't mind my hands. Um, um, I washed it, but it's not really coming off, so it's all over my fingers and my nails. And that is why I never get my nails done. Let's try this thermal printer. I saw it on TikTok, and I thought it was really, really cute, and it was only like $25. And the reveal. Isn't he or she so cute? It has like little ears on the top and it's like smiling and I do have a thermal printer but I think the last one that I got costed around $80 but this one is $25 which I thought was super affordable for a thermal printer. 
Okay, so we need to download the app. Ooh, it's a Chinese app. I wonder if I'm going to be able to use it. So yeah, I get a lot of comments asking if I'm Chinese or Korean, and I'm Japanese. Just saying because I get a lot of comments, and I feel like a lot of Asian Americans can relate. So if you press this button, the bottom parts kind of pops open, and you can put this roll inside. And close. I guess that's it. So let's add in this drawing. I think I can kind of like change the size and I think I like it right there. Let's add in another drawing. I'm just going to crop it like so and place it right here. You can kind of change the darkness right here and I'm just going to go ahead and print. Okay, if you compare it to my thermal printer that costed me $80, the quality is like mm, not that great, but it's not like horrible as well. Technically, you pay for the price, and I think it's so fun and cute. Instead of using a normal white roll, I'm going to put a sticker paper inside and print. Okay, so there's a problem. You need to put the roll in this way, but if you do, it's going to print on this side. And to make it into a sticker, you obviously want to print it onto the sticker side. Let me quickly DIY it. And I'm just going to roll this the other way. And print. Okay. <gasps> the reveal. But I guess it's not really made for sticker papers, so you kind of need to work around, DIY it. But yeah, it still works. Just because I'm curious, let me do a quick comparison. So this is the thermal printer that I was talking about. Yeah, it's so much better. You can tell that the one on the left is a lot more pixelated and the lines are kind of jaggy. I mean, I would totally recommend this one, but if you want something like fun and cute, this also works as well. Okay, let's move on to the next project. So back to the first project. So here's all the colors and I have to say, they aren't perfect. They only have one shade of blue. So I'm just going to work with what I have. And I'm just going to fill them up really carefully. Oh my gosh, it's just so satisfying looking at them getting filled up so fast. By the way, I got a new camera. So now the video quality is so much better than before. I got it as a birthday present from myself. Yeah, it's coming up. My birthday, um, it's on the 28th. Oh no. It's like in two weeks. And this step is obviously optional, but I'm just going to use my light box to see if I missed any spaces. You just want to fill all the gaps so there's no holes. Okay, now I'm just going to put this aside and let's fill this one up as well. So another tip, you want to make these stickers super opaque and just full with paint. Like this is not enough at all. You want to fill it up to the point it's kind of overflowing a bit. Like you cannot have any space left, especially around their eyes and nose. If you leave like a space around their eyes, the eyes are not going to be part of the sticker. Like it's just going to come off. When the paint dries up, it becomes transparent. So even if you go over the lines, don't worry, the black lines will still peek through. Oh yeah, and I thought I got normal pink paint, but it turned out to have like glitters inside. Um, you'll see that at the end of the video, but that was not on purpose. Okay, so now I'm going to wait for it to completely dry, and I think I'm just going to go get dinner or something. Next up, I want to try this sticker making toy. There's so many ways to make stickers, but one of the ways to make them is by using these kits. I know it's a toy, but sometimes they are amazing. Oh my gosh, there's so many tape. And this is what was inside. So this kit comes with this container. I still don't know how this works. It also comes with these tools, some beads, different kinds of shapes, and some pictures. And they're so cute. Oh my gosh, Sakura-chan! The instruction sheet. Let me quickly read this. Hmm. So first step, so I'm guessing you open this and you put this thing right here. Step two, place the capsules. There's a lot of different kinds of shapes like a bow, heart, and a star. And I think I want to go with a bow. And then you place it right here. Step three, put in some beads. Ooh. 
I'm guessing it doesn't have to be beads. You could also put in like sequins, some glitter, you know, just anything. And you can be really creative about this. Oh my gosh, look at this spoon. Everything from Japan is so cute. So you could scoop up some beads and kind of put it inside. Step four, place the sheet. Hmm, which one should I choose? I want to go with Tomoyo-chan because she looks so cute here. So now we're just going to take off the plastic sheet on top. And we're just going to place it on top like so. It tells you to gently rub it. Give it a little bit of massage. And press the cover down until it snaps. And the reveal. Three, two, one. <gasps> okay, that turned out to be a few. Uh, wait, don't worry, it's still fixable. And basically that's it. Ooh, I do like how it has like this dome on top and you could put like beads and cute stuff inside and make it kind of original. It's like a shaker sticker, which I think is so unique. It did not properly work, but it may be my fault. So let me try it again. This time I'm going to try a star. Pour in some beads. This time I'm going to use this sakura-chan. Peel it off. Give a quick massage and the reveal. Ooh. Okay, this time it worked perfectly fine. I would give this toy like a 9 out of 10. Okay, moving on. Okay, next up, I'm going to try making stickers using this diamond sticker kit. I love doing diamond art and it's a sticker that's like a two-in-one. So that's all the supplies. So here we've got some diamonds, a small diamond art kit. <gasps> They're so cute. And some little Disney characters. It doesn't really have instructions. It's pretty much self-explanatory. And I'm just going to do it my way. So first off, I'm just going to cut it out. And I'm going to start with Tinkerbell. Ooh, wait, Cinderella is so cute. And I love Jasmine. They also have Elsa. But yeah, let's just go with Tinkerbell. Here's some wax. And interesting, it's kind of like broken into pieces. So I'm just going to press in my pen. And the pen is ready. Peel off the top layer like so. Let's start with the sevens. And we're just going to repeat this step. Okay, you know what? This is taking so long. I'm just going to use my other trays. Ooh, it's transparent. This is so adorable. I'm just going to put it back because I don't have anywhere to place it yet. But I'm just loving this kit. I mean, it's Disney, it's a diamond art painting, it's a sticker, and it comes with all the tools that you need. So it basically has everything. So I think I'm going to make one more and I'm going to make Jasmine. And I'm just a cheater. I'm just going to use my other pen that has a wider top. Oh, I really, really like it. But I think I'm going to move on and do the rest sometime else. Okay, next up, I'm going to make my original stickers. So I have my iPad and pencil and I'm just going to start drawing. I actually drew the rough draft last night and I was in a very unicorn mode. I'm just going to use Ibis paint like always and I'm just going to start drawing. I made like 10 layers just for the eye. I wanted to make it like extra dreamy. I don't think I can recreate this because I made it in the moment. Like everything is just so random. But basically I added a lot of shadows and added some shiny lines with lots of highlight. So I was thinking of making the sticker a little special. I wanted to make the sticker overall very shiny with like an iridescent background. So I chose the colors with that in mind. I changed the color of the lines like 10 times 
just to get it right and I ended up like adding accessories and hearts and I kind of got carried away and had too much fun decorating. Okay, yeah, I think I kind of got carried away. I started adding all these like random designs. So yeah, I'm just going to stop here. So now that I have my design ready, I'm going to put it into my computer and cut it out using my Cricut. New project. Update needed. That wasn't too bad. New project. Upload. Upload image complex print then cut image recent uploads add to canvas and boom so how big should i make it um i actually want to use the sticker on this bottle it's a plastic bottle that looks like a milk carton so this is about five centimeters five i feel like i have a lot of space so i'm just going to copy and paste it and maybe make like six yeah, let's try making six stickers. Make. So far, so good. And I'm just going to quickly print it out using my printer. And here it is. I just used transparent sticker paper. So now, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Ooh, so shiny. Oh my gosh, my face looks so weird. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to stick it onto this iridescent sticker roll. So shiny and shimmery. Hopefully, it turns out really pretty. I'm just going to cut it, peel. Okay, this part is a little bit tricky. And I'm going to stick it right underneath the unicorns. And it looks something like this. So now I'm going to place it onto the mat like so. Okay, sticker check, mat check, Cricut check. And now I'm going to set the base material, premium vinyl permanent glossy, and start. ready release and this is how it turned out what do you guys think it actually turned out even better than i thought guys i'm actually super proud of myself i did use waterproof stickers so it's probably going to last a while but obviously i wouldn't put it in the dishwasher nor will i like scrub really hard but i think this turned out super cute and it's actually the next day, and now it's fully dry. Actually, this folder is like cute by itself, but you can now peel it and stick it onto your window. Let's see how it turned out. And guys, I think it's a success. You could also put a double-sided tape on it and make it into a real sticker. It's kind of transparent, like a fake stained glass, and you can decorate anything with it. Ta-da! What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I think it's so, so cute. This is definitely my new favorite water bottle. So yeah, I'm just having so much fun making stickers, so hopefully you guys liked this video. I'm also making all these stickers and trying out all these new stuff just because I'm thinking of making a small business. Hint, hint. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!